by Maisili Zifo Zinga Fuzz I'll remember this name because it is destined for stardom. Those who were doubting Hamond there were many even admitted that the 21-year-old left-hander is a rare boxing breed. But no one can bear testimony to that more than Jeffiwa Munya who was bundled to the canvas three times inside three rounds and finally called a no muss. Fuzz Island Munya were contesting South Africa's featherweight Super 4 series at Emperor's Palace in Johannesburg on Saturday night. With Munyai boasting international experience amassed from his 32 bouts with just three losses own of them to Scott Quigg for the WBA junior featherweight title the eight-fight novice was expected to succumb when in the distance. And Munyai had in fact predicted it to go like that dismissing the school-going SA featherweight champion as easy pickings. But all his bold talk fizzled out in the very first round when he could hardly land a telling blow. Matters would become worse for him in the second round when he began to open up only to be nailed by swift straight lefts one of which dumped him on the seat of his pants. Munyai 285 was a beaten boxer right there and when he was decked twice in the following round the writing was on the wall. As the fight was beaten out of him he didn't want to subject himself to another embarrassment as he shook his head to the referee to indicate that he had had enough. Fuzz Isle 90, 4 KOs will move to the finals of the series next February against another youngster Lorado Dlimini, who upset former WBA champion Simpi Wavetyeka, in another semi-final clash. The 36-year-old Vetyeka looked his age as he was outworked and out-hustled by the 23-year-old to majority decision loss. I'm fact the judge who saw the fight even was generous to him against a marauding opponent who came to the fight with a modest 9 wins and a single loss. However Delimini had never faced anyone of note and the general feeling was that Vetyeka was going to be too much for him. But the fight proved to signal Vetyeka's exit in boxing with hopes of regaining the title he lost to Nonito Donair all but gone. He had shocked the world when he retired Indonesian legend Chris John to rest the WBA crown. But he never parlayed the stunning win to bigger things and the loss to Delimini will likely earn him some sort of a one-hit wonder stigma. In another clash DJ Creel was made to work harder for his majority win over late substitute Thembalani Okolo in their eight rounds mini flyweight clash. Tags